Mark Stein reported that the Pistons have emerged as a potential suitor for Tim Hardaway Jr. Right? We talked about that. A lot of news, a lot of Pistons fans are not the happiest about Tim Hardaway Jr. I am seeing a lot of angst from the fan base when it comes to him. But that's the news, right? The Pistons have emerged as a potential trade destination for Tim Hardaway Jr. So, King, I have to be honest with you, bro. I do have some mixed feelings about this. And at first I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. They've been trying to get him for a while. But let me just start with the good, right? We all know that he has a relationship with Kate. Tim Hardaway actually really helped Kate out with his decision to have his surgery on the shin at the beginning of the season before last. So he was kind of a mentor for Kate through that process. And there's definitely a friendship that has developed from that situation. But now <laughs> on the other side of the trade, Quentin Grimes is the potential outgoing piece in this trade. And since you asked me, I was going to let you go first about this, but since you asked me about it, I'm going to just get into it. Tim Hardaway is entering the last deal of his contract, right? It's cap friendly, 16 million. I wouldn't be opposed to adding him to the roster, but I don't think I like the idea of trading Quentin Grimes in order to get him because we, I don't even feel like Quentin Grimes has been given an opportunity, bro, to show what he can do when he's healthy. He's played six, he played six games for us last season. Six. Because yeah. he came over midway through the season and he got hurt. He got hurt immediately. So I don't think that's a big enough sample size to say we should move on from him. I feel like he could be a rotational piece for our team when he's healthy. And I like the shooting and defense that he can provide if he's healthy. That's That's the first thing. That's number one. The second thing is if the Pistons make this trade, they better get some assets back. <laughs> they better. First round pick, first round pick, first round pick, unprotected picks, second round pick, I don't care. Get some assets back. Get some assets back, period. Think about it. This is the perfect time, bro, for them to absorb big contracts. They got over 60 plus million in cap space. They must demand draft capital back in return. Now, if they do that, I would be sad to see Grimes go because it's like, what if we didn't give him a chance? He got hurt, but I will consider it. But again, it's all about absorbing contracts for assets. I need at least one unprotected first round pick. At least, at least for me, it's all about the assets, bro. Like ideally, ideally Tim can be a solid veteran locker room presence for a team that has none. And then come next season, you look back and you basically trade a Quentin Grimes for a draft pick. And then Tim's veteran presence, you have it for one year. And so if they don't bring him back, you know, the Pistons will have that 16 million back in cash space, just like that. So I think if we're going to give K to Max extension, which all signs point to, I think it's at this point, it's important to get guys around him that he's comfortable with and will pair well with, with him on the court. I think after these past couple of seasons with the roster not being constructed well around him and a coach that essentially didn't care to be here, I think the franchise player deserves that much. So if you're going to do this deal, okay, do it. You include Grimes in the deal, fine. Get at least one draft pick back, period. If you're not doing that, you might as well wait until he's a free agent to go get him. All That's right. my take on that. What's yours? Um. <laughs> Knock on wall. Hard <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Why not? Because I just know as soon as he get here, his jump shot is going to be even more broken. We do this too much, bro. I want veterans here. Mm -hmm. But again, I want the right veterans. You know, somebody that's going to be actually a contributor to K. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody coming here to chuck up a bunch of bricks. <laughs> I'm here. You get with the Pistons. Bro, he going to be out there letting that thing play. He going to be Josh Smith and out there. Oh, my God. You trying <laughs> to give me PTSD, bro. At this at this stage of his career, I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I was extremely unimpressed with him in the playoffs. I just don't want to do it. I don't. I don't want to see Tim Hardaway Jr. in a Pistons jersey. I don't. And mm. I, I love Tim Hardaway Jr., but I don't want to see him in a Pistons jersey. That's just me personally. I feel it. I'm not mad at that. I know I know what you mean when you talk about getting guys too late in their career and things like that. You know, I do understand it. He didn't play well in the playoff. He did have that one game where he had like five threes in a row or something like that, something crazy. But to be fair, it was it was against bench warmers. 
if we're being honest, right? Um, the game was over. It was already in hand. He yeah. finally got a shot back. He's a very streaky shooter. So I personally would rather have somebody who is more reliable as far as their play and their availability. It's tough when you're not a consistent three-point shooter and you're not consistently healthy. You can't not be both. Both of them. Yeah. On a team that's trying to start winning. Right. And you're not on a team that's winning already, one that's trying to start winning. I would worry about his psyche too, going from a team that just went to the NBA Finals to a team that had the worst record in the league last season. I would wonder if he would feel entitled to shots just because, yeah. hey, I've, I've been to the finals. Hey, I'm not saying he would do that, but that's one thing that I would worry about. PD Mac, this is the last year of his deal. That's what I was saying. If you're not going to get a draft, if they're not going to give you anything other than just the trade, you just let him stay there. And if you really want him that bad, sign him in the offseason when he's free agent to a cheap deal. You know what I mean? That's the option. If you can get him for under 10 or 10 million, all right, cool. Whatever. Better presence, fine. Whatever. But I'm not overpaying for him. And I know Kate has that relationship with him, but it could be a great fit. And he is, uh, is hurt. Or he's unavailable. And now you just got dead money sitting there. You know what I mean? Injuries happen to anybody. But looking at his history, that will be what will concern me about that. So I'm not mad at you for not wanting him here. I'm just so desperate for spacers, bro. I'm so desperate for some catch and shoot guys who can actually knock it down when they catch it and shoot it. <laughs> right, contributors. just contributors. I heard somebody say Grimes' shot was broke. I don't think it's broke. I just think we haven't seen it. It's hard to come back when you're injured and just automatically have your shot come back. Your timing has to come back. You got to get your legs back. You got to get your wind back. Well, we got guys have to know when you we like the ball. We got to shoot. We got Fred Benson, right? So I'm not really that concerned because he has shown before that he that he has an ability to knock shots down. It's not like he is just a bad shooter. So yeah, I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. And he is a dog defensively. That's that's another thing. That's another reason. You are Tim Hardaway dog. Jr. is not a dog defensively. That's what I'm you already know I'm gonna say no to that. I don't want to trade nobody defensive nowhere. Right. He'd be an expiring contract going into next season. So after this season, that 16 will come off the books. That's what I was saying earlier. So it wouldn't be a terrible thing because it wouldn't be long term. But if you're looking to make some progress now, it's really important to get the guys right on your team. I understand where you're coming from for sure. I get it. We had it straight to the top in the know. I got a face, yeah. I got no 